the goal is the same as always, to be the very best that we can be and challenge for a, a Conference USA regular season and, and, and tournament uh, uh, championship. Um, I, I think we've got a chance to be pretty daggone good. Well, there you go. A lot of excitement from Jeff Jones surrounding the upcoming season, both on and off the court. And with that, we welcome you to the debut edition of the Old Dominion Full Court Press. Every Wednesday night through the end of basketball season, we'll give you an inside look at the Monarchs, not just how they're stacking up against the competition, but pulling back the curtain on their preparation and community work as well. Of course, Monarch Nation ready to see the, t uh, the team tip off. Last season, Old Dominion playing in front of limited fans at the TED, but players and coaches looking forward to it being more like this. This video from the 2019-2020 season, the last campaign where the full capacity permitted. The home non-conference slate featuring matches with VCU and College of Charleston, while plenty of exciting Conference USA showdowns await as well. It absolutely does. and I mean, everybody in our league knows what, what great fans that we have. Uh, nobody knows it more than, than our players. So, you know, we're, we, we've really got our fingers crossed and expecting that we're going to have, uh, you know, great crowds, full house, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, we'll, we'll need it. Old Dominion opens official practice a week from tomorrow. The regular season opener is Wednesday, November 10th. Of course, to perform well, the team has to have top-notch, state-of-the-art facilities. Here's your chance to take a behind-the-scenes look inside the Mitchum Basketball Performance Center, where ODU gets ready to show out on the floor. Welcome to the Mitchum Basketball Performance Center. I'm Kieran Donahue with the Old Dominion University men's basketball coaching staff. Today we're going to take an inside look at the facility that the Monarchs train in. This is where each team comes in and, and lifts weights and gets bigger, faster, stronger as they prepare for the season. Our players lift four days a week, sometimes five days a week in the offseason. And then during the season, they're in here working out anywhere from two to four days a week. This will lead to the athletic training room and the locker rooms for each program. All treatments, uh, before practice, after practice, all pre and post-surgical rehab will take place in this facility. You know, the Cold World Pool Bath is probably not the favorite of activity of our players, but is essential. So after most workouts, our guys spend 15 minutes or so in the cold tub. This is the men's basketball locker room. So we've got a couple different areas. To The first area here is what we call the lounge. It's a great opportunity, great space for our players to relax. And then back in here is the locker area of the locker room. We've got nice extra wide lockers for each player, extra tall lockers for each player. Again, our guys are not the average human. They're bigger and stronger and wider and heavier than most. We've got frequently guys 6'8", 6'9", 6'10", or taller. We've got really tall shower heads. That is very popular with our players. Specifically done when we built this building for this reason. The guys were tired of always having to hunch over and bend down just to take a shower. So when they can come in here, they get to shower like a normal human being. This is the area where we have our team meetings. During the season, especially the few days leading up to games, we're going to watch film of our opponents as we prepare what we want to do, how we want to play against them, what we want to stop them from doing. And then usually the day after one of our games, we're in here watching film of ourselves, what we did well, what we didn't, didn't do so well. So as we head down this balcony, uh, which also serves as a hallway to get to our offices, uh, we've got a great view of the practice facility, the court space, and we see head coach Jeff Jones' office. There's enough room, enough space for our staff to meet in here each day before practice. Thank you for joining us on this tour of the Mitchum Basketball Performance Center and an inside look at Monarch Basketball. We hope to see all of you in the stands at Chartway Arena on Wednesday, November 10th for our first game. Go Monarchs! Now it's time for Marching with the Monarchs. We are marching 94 feet with the Monarchs here with Jalen Hunter. And Jalen, let's start out with uh, your teammates. You guys are a close-knit group. Who's the funniest guy on the team? Funniest guy on the team definitely got to be Emo. He might be a born comedian. Oh, yeah? So, yeah. So that's where we'll find him. Like, does he moonlight as like a stand-up comic or anything like that? A little bit, yeah. I can see him having a little talk show or something like that. Yes, sir. <laughs> what made you fall in love with basketball? You guys obviously love this game. Was there a certain point or moment you can think of that made you fall in love with the game? Uh, probably not a moment. I think the ball's just been in my hand my whole life, so. I just have always fell in love with the game. Kind of gravitated towards yes, it, sir. absolutely. Hey, pregame meal. What's the magic of Jalen Hunter when it comes to that pregame cuisine? Uh, I usually pick one every season, but I'm gonna eat the same thing every 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 game. So you're a superstitious yeah, guy. Yeah, definitely. No doubt at all. Who's your basketball idol, bro? Uh, Damian Lillard. He's been my idol since uh, about like five, last five, seven years, something like that. Do, do you model your game off him or anything like that? Uh, probably not model his game, but definitely his mentality. 
Well, there you go. Maybe we'll see some Dame time at Chartway Arena this year, courtesy of Mr. Hunter. Well, still ahead, the Monarchs welcome their newest member. And while he may not have many stats to his name just yet, he's already making a big impact on his teammates. That's coming up right after this. Well, a good day for Old Dominion basketball as they're adding for the future. Bryce Alfino, a shooting guard from Mooresville, North Carolina, announcing his commitment to the Monarchs on social media today. Alfino choosing ODU over Winthrop. He'll be part of the class of 2022 and the most efficient player on the Under Armour High School circuit this year. Well, speaking of new additions, the Monarchs want to perform well on the court, but just as important is making an impact in the community. This season, the program extending its arms to a local child who's battling his own adversity and now gets to be part of a team. All the bells and whistles of your typical signing day. But this celebration, anything but typical. The team on hand to welcome the newest Monarch, who may be smaller in size, but will have a huge impact. Meet 10-year-old Brandon Nolan. A lot of us don't get to do this. This had to be a lot of fun for you today. Yeah, it was. What was fun about it? Getting to join the team and play basketball with my teammates. It means everything to us. I mean, when we figured it out that this was something that we could do, not only just for today, but for the entire season, we were all excited. It has meant the world to us because he's able to get the sportsmanship and the teamwork environment so he doesn't feel as alone in his journey through his hemophilia. Hemophilia, a blood disorder that keeps blood from clotting properly and puts plenty of limitations on physical activity. No contact sports. Um, are very high risk for him, so basketball is okay. It's a moderate risk, but he's still, that's the sport that he likes the most to do. Being able to uh, put his mind at ease and not have to worry about his condition while being able to just watch us hoop is one of the things that, you know, gives us the extra energy that we need to, to win our games. Team Impact is an organization that matches children with serious illnesses with athletic programs. The goal, to prevent emotional trauma and social isolation that comes with battling a disease for kids. And it did not take long for ODU's youngest member to feel right at home. For me, as a mom, you know, knowing that he's shy and to himself, it meant a lot because he got out of his show. He was even talking and playing basketball, interacting with everybody. So to me, that means the world, and I know it does to him too. And the best thing about today was was seeing Brandon smile. You know, that was that was great. And he's he's a little bit shy, but you could see, you know, he he couldn't uh, couldn't hold that smile back. A smile that will be seen all season long, and an example to children fighting battles that they're not alone. Just because you have hemophilia doesn't mean you can't do things. Yes, you have limits, but so does everybody else in the world. You just have to know your limits. Whenever he's coming over here to to interact and shoot or watch a game or watch a practice, whatever it is, I, I want him to feel uh, very much a part of the team, a part of our family. Now, Brandon will be a member of the team all season long, going to select practices and games. Well, that wraps up tonight's edition of the Old Dominion Full Court Press. If you joined us late, the entire program will be available on WTKR.com.